Hey guys, what's up? It's DK here. Still playing uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock weapon customization. Okay, so um, first things first. You need to have played up to Storyline Mission 13 or Episode 13 and beaten it. And that prompts you to unlock Side Op 107, which is the legendary. Uh, extracting the legendary. Uh, gunsmith. Now there's three of these quests, and as you see in this one, I, I found the target. He's actually in a group. Um, but yeah, this one takes place in Af in Africa, and then you got the next two, which unlock after this, um, both in Afghanistan. Now I've heard from a lot of people saying that once you beat 107, it unlocks 108, which is kind of half right, half wrong thing is is that um, 108 actually takes place in the base camp right up north of Afghanistan right but it won't unlock until you do the surrounding side ops first so you've got to go to the power plant to get the uh, blueprint for the stun arm and the other one is finding the legendary brown bear if you don't do these two quests you won't unlock 108 and as you can see, I haven't done any of the side ops at all. I've only done two of them completed, and that's only because I had to in order to mess the story. So it's, it's very, I don't know, weird of people to think that because side ops are there, that people are just going to do them. And then because they're so early to be done, um, that warrants them saying, oh, once you do 107, 108 unlocks, which is wrong. But anyways... So I've just got the stun arm blueprint and there's the brown bear who doesn't really look brown, he looks kind of whitish kind of, but could be just the lighting, I don't know. But I'm going to about to extract this dude. See you later buddy. And then um, once you head back to the helicopter, you get like a bit of a message from Miller. That man you picked up in Walla Yamasa is a top-notch gunsmith. We've got plenty of work for him. But it turns out that he's just the apprentice of a so-called legendary gunsmith. Now, if this legendary gunsmith is all he's cracked up to be, we could really use him on our side. The apprentice gave us the whereabouts of his master. If you've got the time, go and grab him. I've added the details to your side ops list. And as you can see, 108 then unlocks because it prompts me to, do, to go and do it now because those other two side quests are now done Please select a landing zone. Um, I like to go to the back side of the um, back side of the base camp it's just easier to deal with but yeah um, this is where it's near the tr the um, what do you call it? What do you call it, Machigi? The firing range, that's the one. See the firing range, you'll find the uh, the next gunsmith that hopefully isn't the fraud. But it turns out he is the fraud. There's another one. There's Obviously there's another one because you have to do one and nine as well. So once you go back to the helicopter, Miller then tells you that that was also a fraud. And the real one's actually in the prison, which is where I'm going right now. So, you've been here before during the story mode missions, but he's not actually not in there. He's in the other the other side, as, a, as I'm showing you right now. Not in here. Not in here. But in here. So you just take him out. Chuck him outside, and voila. Attach a balloon to him, and there's your gunsmith. Nice and simple. Side op completed. Side op completed. Okay, subject is in. Extraction arrived at mother base. 
And so there it is. Finally found that legend of a gunsmith. The guys on the R and D team are dumbfounded. They say he's every bit as good as the stories. With him working for us, you'll be able to customize your weapons. Try it out on the ACC. All right. So when customizing weapons and stuff like that, you can only access it from the ACC, which is the helicopter. You can't do it on the fly when you're in a mission or when you're doing free roam. It can only be done in the helicopter. All right. So um, this is the preview of what it looks like. Um, I'm I'm speeding this up so then you know you're not stuck watching me pick a color or whatever. But um yeah. So essentially um you can do all different types there's diff all different types of parts that you can add to your guns. But obviously they're not all unlocked until you level them up. So it gives you more incentive to level up your guns a lot sooner than than later. So yeah, you can like do as you can see, sights, uh, uh, foregrip, stock, muzzle, uh, camos, flashlights, all that stuff you can do. But um, obviously, there's some, there's some guns out there that require blueprints, so it gives you more incentive to do those side ops to unlock those uh, blueprints for your guns that, that you want to upgrade. It's just cool, like, it, it just gives you that extra, um, you know, few hours to do something. Like, oh man, customization is just an incredible thing. I was really sad that you couldn't do the rocket launcher. Maybe you can do rocket launchers, and maybe just the uh, the first rocket launcher that you get given. The Grom, I think it's called. Uh, Grom 11. I don't think that, one, that one's not customizable, sadly, so... Um, maybe it is. Maybe I just need to uh, level it up. I'm not too sure, but I was kind of upset that I couldn't upgrade it. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you found this informative, um, give my video a like, because there's a lot of videos out there that uh, I, I, I don't know, it wasn't helpful to me. They just like do 107, then 108, then 109, then boom, weapon customization, weapon customization unlocks, which is not true. You need there's more parts to it than that. So, uh, yeah, if it, if it really did help you out, you know, two seconds, hit that like button. Uh, I'll, I very highly appreciate it. Anyways, guys, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time.